In this video, we'll write the equation for Ba3PO4 plus H2O. This is barium phosphate plus water. So first off, we'll take our solid barium phosphate and we're going to put this in liquid water. So we want to see what happens. Let's check the solubility rules here and see if barium phosphate will dissolve in water and dissociate into its ion. So we're looking for either the barium ion or the phosphate. So down here, I see that most phosphates are insoluble. There are a few exceptions, but most of the phosphates, like barium phosphate, they're insoluble. So when we put this barium phosphate in water, nothing happens. It just falls to the bottom. It stays a solid, falls to the bottom of the test tube or the beaker. We should note that when we say insoluble, we mean almost all of it doesn't dissolve, but there's always a tiny amount that does dissolve. So we could write the equation just for that tiny amount. Barium's in group two, that would be two plus, and the phosphate ion, the whole phosphate ion is three minus. So we'll have three barium ions and two of the phosphate ions. And since these are dissolved in water, let's put AQ for aqueous after them. Aqueous means dissolved in water. So this is the equation for the very small amount of barium phosphate that would dissolve in water. Sometimes you'll see the H2O put above the arrow, and even sometimes you'll see H2O written in the products. But since we have aqueous here, that means these are dissolved in water. We don't really need to write water again. So for the very small amount of barium sulfate that dissolves in water, this is the equation we get. But overall, almost all of the barium phosphate will remain a solid because it's insoluble. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.